This is my 1965 SS12 that I'm calling Rhino. In this video, let's try getting it running. Hi, I'm Alex, and welcome back to another vlog day. All right, so we're getting started on Rhino. This is a 1965 SS12. Um, yeah, it's amazing. This is the oldest one I, I have now. Um, so its name is Rhino. These lights actually work. Look at that. Look at that. That's sweet. Um, so I threw a key switch in here um, and a battery. Filled the tire with air. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to use one of these to start it. We'll see. Um, it's acting like it's not getting enough voltage. So I'm about to pull this out here and get my car and give it infinite power. Whereas this only gives it like, I don't know, an amp. Like <laughs> it's like gives it like nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna set you up here. I'm gonna try one more time with that. Um, I don't like those things. They're stupid, but yeah, let's, let's try to get this thing started. So yeah, let's, uh, let's try to get this thing started. It's by far the most comfortable SS12 I've ever sat on. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm really curious to see if this thing drives. I think I heard it start up like it fired, but I don't know. We'll see. All I did was put this key switch in. Um, uh, I don't know what happened to the old one, but it did exactly what uh, Skip's did. Skip uh, had one of the post rod off, and I've torn Skip's engine down, which is unfortunate because I think all it needs is a switch like this one. So I'm probably going to put it all back together just to do that. But uh, yeah, this is all it's doing. Let's see if it will fire up, but I'm about to put my car up to it and give it a, like unlimited. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pull this thing out. We'll get the car up in here because, uh, yeah, I don't like these things. They never work. So. Yeah, so, put you on brief hold and uh, I'll get Duro out of here. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get Rhino started up. Okay, car with unlimited power. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, it's not starting, so there could be something that's not attached right on my end. I mean, I'm smelling fuel. Doesn't smell the best either. But 
there might not be something hooked up correctly, so. It fired up like no problem at the dude's house, so. Okay, so I took the key switch out. I undid a wire, maybe I did it wrong. Let's try it again. There's like no hope in this thing, but. Proof of concept, it runs. So, not very well. We're gonna have to, have to clean that car for sure. I mean, it's got nasty gas in it. I can smell it, and this doesn't look very good for gas either. So, I'm really hoping to drive it, but uh, that's not gonna happen. But it starts. It starts. So phase one is complete. It starts. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll mount that key switch properly. We'll get a, a battery for it, knowing that it runs. We'll take the carb off, clean the tank, put few, you know fresh gas in the tank. But for a 1965 engine, it's doing pretty well. So 
yeah, that's that for now. And look at this beautiful seat. But uh, yeah, let's just put this back over here. And uh, yeah, there's uh, there's Rhino. It, it kind of sort of runs, so. And if anyone knows where you can get a uh, the other side of the grill, a little grill piece, let me know. But anyway, that's it for now. Um, I'll update you later when I work on it more. I'll probably work on it in a couple weeks, but there it is. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. Um, I know I was supposed to record enough to get it running and driving, but proof of concept, it's it's done. It, it runs. It just needs a dedicated battery. That battery was done, and it needs a dedicated key switch. I kind of stole that key switch off of that engine. So other than that, it's running great. Rhino is amazing. I love it. I would like to be able to drive it to test everything, but that'll be in the next video. That'll be in like part two of getting Rhino, but this is holding back a lot of videos, so I want to get this out, so I apologize um, for cutting it short, but yeah, that's a general gist of it. It runs. It uh, starts up. Um, one thing, it needs a carb clean, um, so I want to get a specialty tool for that, and uh, I don't know, there's like a lot of things around here that needs a carb clean, so it would become, it would come in handy to have this tool. So look for part two on Rhino to get it running and driving perfectly. But uh, yeah, that's just the introduction of Rhino. Just wanted to introduce it to you. And uh, yeah, let's start getting these videos flowing out now. Uh, so this was kind of holding back a few videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll catch you guys in the next one.